this co-labor in life. Lady Portia, did she not leave us? Church. 
uh, in Russia right now, there are new laws on the books that ban evangelism yes. and public yes. worship. Yes. Are you still here? My God. Last year was the most troubling year for Christians worldwide because there were nearly seven or more than 7,000 Christians put to death Lady Parnell because they wanted to praise Christ our King. My God. Y'all ain't talking to me. And here we are tonight, I feel it now, yeah. Jesus. Uh, uh, here we are tonight on a Labor Day weekend, Dr. Parnell, uh, and we're not worried about being arrested, and we're not yeah. worried yeah. about being murdered for praising yeah. God. Yeah. Yet some of us tonight, Jesus. Whew, <laughs> it, it's a chore for you to raise your hand. Yeah. It's a chore for you to stand on your feet. Yeah. It's a chore for you to clap your hands. It's a chore for you to say hallelujah. But somebody across the world is dying Jesus. because they want to praise God. But I'm so glad. I said I'm so glad. I said I'm so glad that my praise is the sound of freedom. Can the church say yes? So in our text, the Bible says, in our text, in this familiar pericope of scripture, uh, after delivering, watch this now, uh, uh, a possessed woman, a woman who was like Miss Cleo, come on, talk back to me, her masters were making good coin off of her, and Paul and Silas had the nerve to free her from that level of possession. I stopped by on my way to heaven to tell you that God is about to eliminate all the pimping in your life. Y'all ain't saying that. All right. Uh, the Bible says that as she was free from her pimps and her, her, her manipulators, the Bible says that they were arrested. They were put in, uh, yes, they were flogged and they were beaten. Come on, talk back to me. And they were placed, the Bible says, right in the inner, inner part of the prison. Not only they were in supermax, but the Bible says they were chained in the jail. Y'all ain't talking to me. I stopped by on my way to heaven to tell you that the reason that the enemy is so coming at you so hard, keeping you so bound, keeping you so def uh, so confined right now is because he understands that if you ever get free and loose, you'll cost him something. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. I'm going to cost the devil something. He's going to lose something because of me. He's going to lose a life. He's going to lose an agent. Somebody shout, something's going to get loose because of me. And so the Bible says, that Paul and Silas at midnight. Anybody ever been in a midnight? Have uh, you been in a midnight experience? And they began to not call anybody on the phone. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But the Bible says they began to start praying. But it wasn't enough uh, alone to just uh, go to God in prayer. They had to begin to praise God. I ain't got no help in here. And the Bible says when they started praising, nothing else when they started praising. When they started praising. Number one, the foundation of the jail shook. I stopped by here way to heaven to tell you whatever's been confining you, God's about to shake it. Touch your neighbors and get ready for the shaking. And then secondly, not only did the foundation of the jail shake, but then the jail doors flew open. Okay, anybody need some doors to open? You've had doors closed on you, you've had doors locked, but I'm here to tell you that God is about to move some doors open for you. But then thirdly, the last thing that happened immediately is everybody's chains fell off. I stopped by on my way to heaven to tell you that everything and everybody that's confining you, God is about to call them to fall off. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Is about to call it all to fall off. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. God is about to cause it to, to fall off. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. My praise is the sound of freedom. And so that's why your family, your colleagues, friends, and associates begin to tease you about praising God. And they begin to tease you and tell you don't take all that. But they didn't mind when you were having harassment. 
recipe in the club. You don't say nothing to when you shook it all night long. When you party till the wee midnight hours, they didn't have nothing to say. But because now you serve another master and you didn't stop dancing, but you changed partners. Yeah, yes, Lord. Turn somebody and say, I didn't stop dancing, but I changed partners. But all sucks. Thank you, Holy Ghost, for a little voice tonight. But touch your neighbor, say neighbor. My praise, my praise is a sign of my independence. My praise is a sign that I'm free. And I guess that's why Milton Brunson said, I'm free. Praise the Lord. No longer bound, no chains holding me. My soul, I wish I had a voice tonight. I said, My soul is a resting. Thank God, thank God, hallelujah. I'm free. Take my hand. I promise I'm quick. I'm trying to stay in my time. But my prayer